Hey everybody, it's your girl, the Empress Chanel, coming at you with a random collective reading. So I'm just going to go ahead and I already said my little prayers and put my energy on everything. I'm going to go ahead and do the astrological dice. Oh, don't forget, these right here are on my website right now. So go ahead and go up there, look in the description box. You can find the link to my website. It's under Divination Tools. They're the Astrology Dice, okay? So we're going to see what the Astrology Dice has for us today. We have Leo. What is this? Mars. And we have sixth house here, which is Virgo, ruled by Virgo. So somebody could have uh, their Mars in the sixth house, um, and their sixth house could be Leo in their chart. Um, or this could just have something to do with a Leo. Mars rules what? Like uh, Aries, I believe. Leo, Aries, Virgo uh, energy right there going on. But that gives me... Um, struggles at work um energy something may have been exposed um in reference to someone's work or uh some sort of conflict uh about somebody's work uh i just heard conflict of interest let's see we have the Ace of Wands right there, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the Fool card right there, Aries. So yeah, like I said, Aries looking real prominent in this reading already. Something about a brand new start. Um, someone having a lot of passion for something. Uh, could have something to do with crystals here. She's holding an amethyst crystal in her hand. Uh, Hangman, Piscean energy, and we have Four of Swords and the Empress here at the bottom of the deck, and we have Lee. I mean, I was about to say Leo, um, Virgo right here at the bottom of the deck, like I said, uh, and we have Ace of Cups. I see, so Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, the Empress, and the Four of Swords. I did say something about like work or business. The Empress could be like a female boss. Um, or some sort of leader, some somebody who has some sort of prominent uh, position of power, um, whether that be in a family dynamic, a work dynamic, a group dynamic, a friend dynamic, whatever that is, um, some sort of position of power here. And um, Empress is Taurus Libra energy. So... It's almost like some sort of rejuvenation energy. I see cancer right here. It's almost like some sort of rejuvenation energy, a uh, fresh brand new start, uh, the conception or, or birth, look in the, at the bottom of this deck over here that I'm not even using yet. We have the world. Um, conception of something, uh, but someone may feel like they're in like a limbo like state or stuck, but I don't know. I feel like it's, it's like one person feeling like they're stuck because somebody else gets to move forward or uh, gets ahead or has recovered uh, financially in some sort of way. Luckiest with the Ace of Wands. Somebody feel like somebody got lucky. Um, pickier eater. So like I said, somebody's going to be like moving on up I feel like or somebody has climbed the ladder um rapidly lonely at the top with that hangman over there pick your eater could be like you know somebody who um is on a modified diet that could somebody could be vegan or any type of modified diet we have hangman right here forgets birthdays Hmm. That represents to me somebody who is like so caught up in worrying about somebody else's new beginning that is causing a lot of, um, you know, problems in their own life. Um, total flirt here at the bottom of the deck. Thoughtful and diplomatic. So politics, politics, politics. Yeah, that, that, that Empress energy could definitely be some sort of politician, elected official, uh, anything like that. 
Let's see, what's this Ace of Wands right here? The Sun card, Leo Virgo. Somebody's birthday could be on the cusp. They could be a cusper because Leo and Virgo did come out here in that astrology dice. Um, or these two could just be in some sort of rift um, when it comes to work. You know what I mean? Like they could just do the same type of work. This could be some sort of competition. Um, somebody is all caught up with this forgets birthdays i keep looking at that i feel like somebody is all caught up about somebody who like either missed their birthday or forgot their birthday this is pisces energy but i'm getting the energy that this person didn't forget they didn't forget why would you congratulate or wish somebody a happy birthday who didn't even want you to see your next birthday exactly five of pentacles right here exactly before i even flip the card over That's Taurus energy right there. Somebody was trying to get somebody sick via food or through food, but um, this person changed their diet or somebody changed their diet. Something happened where they couldn't do what they were was trying to do with this person. Um, or it's like suddenly that day they didn't want to eat it or drink it or something um, with the hangman here somebody could have looked at things from a different perspective um, I, with, with the luckiest here and the ace of wands and the sun I feel like something was revealed to somebody and they um, like the ace of wands could represent like a brand new start like they got out of there and like the four swords can be like you know healing now um, just in time because the ace of wands is like a quick brand new start look justice right here Libra energy again. The lovers. Gemini energy. At the bottom of the deck, that's total flirt. And the four of swords. Somebody shot they shot and got shut down. I'm seeing seven of cups at the bottom of the deck. And father of swords. That could be that Libra energy right there. Uh, masculine air sign. Yeah, somebody shot, they shot. Tried to pay somebody for something. Oh, now we're getting down to it. See, this started off slow, and now it's like, oh, wait a minute. What is going on here now? Somebody has options. Something was revealed to somebody about them having options. This could also be in reference to some sort of divorce type situation with the lovers that came out here, somebody choosing to um, live a healthier lifestyle or have a healthier, you know, friend group, things like that. With the five of pentacles that came out here, they just realized that, um, you know, they had to take a leap of faith away from these uh, unhealthy things. And, and it's like this. I, I use myself for an example. If I feel like somebody is unhealthy for me, mentally, spiritually, physically, or if I'm unsafe from that person, mentally, physically, or spiritually, I'm going to cut your ass off. I'm going to also cut off anybody that's connected to you. I don't care how we are connected. I don't care what your title is. Because that means that you are also a threat to my mental, physical, and spiritual health and security. Somebody tried to love bomb their way back in with total flirt right here and thoughtful. They thought that that shit was going to work. Someone tried to take somebody's kind demeanor for, for weakness. I, somebody tried to pull this shit on an empath. What's this? Seven of swords. This Aquarius energy. And then I see the six of cups. Yeah. Somebody tried to do this shit. They, they may have even gotten away with doing that shit in the past. It don't work no more. Whatever this is that, that somebody tried uh, to do. I see, because, and look, Magician and Nine of Wands, they've done this a lot. It's some sort of manipulation tactic uh, that this person has. And it's to, it's to kind of like stop them because Taurus energy, this is Taurus Libra energy with the Empress. And this is Libra energy right there. And you see that how that's to rest? 
Taurus energy is known for being a little bit, not lazy, but, you know, very in the 3D world, okay? They are represented by the, the Empress and the King of Pentacles um, in the Tarot deck and the Hierophant. So very in the 3D world, uh, very, you know, a fixed sign, feet in the ground, stubborn, you know, that type of thing. Um, I feel like whoever this was thought that they were going to soften this person up or get them to let their guard down again so that they would be too lazy and put to rest or put to the side um, some sort of work that they were supposed to be doing that's supposed to boss them up or step them up to the next level, put them in this empress um, status right there, put them in a, a level of financial security here and, and bring them like so much love. A brand of start. It's like an outpouring of love that that from something that's a long time coming here with the Knight of Pentacles. That's Virgo energy and Seven of Pentacles. Somebody put a lot of invested a lot of time, money, effort. They have a lot to lose. This person could be a messenger here with the Page of Wands and the Ace of Wands, a spiritual messenger that's supposed to have some sort of. Uh, business here spiritual business um but somebody else sees this person as competition you know maybe they didn't start theirs first so they see this person and, and they want to do the same thing or whatever i don't know they want to one up this person or you know they want to be the one that's in the limelight or whatever that is king of swords masculine energy right here Somebody who definitely has to, um, you know, is good in front of an audience. I'll just put it like that. Because I'm getting two energies from this King of Swords. The Chariot, Cancer energy right there. I'm getting two energy from that King of Swords. Who's the King of Swords? Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy right there. Working with the Capricorn. Or that could also be a project. Um, starting a new project at work. They're trying to get somebody to be to, to come up out of their uh, creative energy, basically. And they're doing that by trying to get this person to put their guard down um, or by trying to trigger somebody to um, doing something a different way or doing something their way. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, something that they may have been able to do in the past. Yep, Knight of Wands. This person is in and out of their life. This person could have Sagittarius in their chart. Clarify the, the sun and the ace of wands, please. Six of cups, somebody from the past. Scorpio energy and then ace of cups right here. This person may have recently tried to love bomb you. To try to confuse somebody. Um, but it's like the way this person does it is it's very manipulative like they try to do it in a way to make you believe like you're doing something wrong when you're following your spirit guides it's like they want to see how much they can control it doesn't matter what they're trying to control they're just trying to see how much they can control and if they have a little bit of control if they can get you to change just one little thing that they know you're doing it a specific way for a reason then they know that they got it. They still got it under control. Somebody's panicking here. I'm telling you, this Mars energy, there's something up with that. What's this Sun card and the Ace of Wands? Something that was revealed. King of Wands. There's somebody that likes to be in the limelight. Again, somebody, like I said, with the King of Swords. Somebody who has an audience. Um, an influencer of sorts. That's Leo energy right there. Virgo energy right here for the uh, Five of Pentacles and the Fool card. See, they knew that if this person took a leap of faith and with this pickier eater right here, cut them out of their life. Like it, uh, this is the energy of somebody like this Virgo energy could be, um, you know, like, like I said, cutting off people and cutting off people that's connected to people that they don't cut off. Somebody don't like that shit. They don't feel like they should be cut off just for being associated with somebody who tried to um, unalive this Virgo or do something very heinous to this Virgo and their family. But you most absolutely should. You're associated with that energy. That's how that energy is even able to come around through, through this person. And this person is trying to exposure, fame.
Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Family, like we see here with the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> I knew this shit was coming out. It's some sort of competition. Somebody's in a competition. They don't even know they're in a competition. This King of Wands, this Leo energy, this Fire Sign energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Fire Sign energy. Five of Wands is Leo energy. Then put somebody... It, well, somebody could be battling court case uh, hung up on a court case they're going to be missing another birthday spending their time in jail with forgets birthdays or somebody could already be in prison but somebody going to be caught up fighting a, a case tell me more Four of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody was trying to suck somebody dry of their money. Because that landed right on top of this Ten of Pentacles and it's pointing at this King of Wands over here. Take the money and run. That's exactly what this person was going to do. Take the motherfucking money and run. They was bleeding somebody for their money. Draining somebody. This is vampire energy right here. Capricorn energy. Seven of Cups and keeping them up in illusions and confusion and... Scorpio energy right there. Or try to. Here we go with the Libra. Three of Swords. Third party situation. Everything is fine in the reverse. This person is so fucking fake. This person is so fake. And like when I be talking about the telepathic communication and stuff like that, that I, I be having, it, that shit be so fucking random. It, it happens like this. Like you could be standing next to me, smiling at me, talking to me so nice, but I can, it, it, it's not about the words that's coming out of your mouth or the look that you have on your face or the fact that you are consciously changing your body language to make it look like you, you know, are relaxed or like somebody or whatever it is. Cause you know, people can do that. Um, just like people can change their breathing pattern and pass a lie detector test. That's why them shits aren't admissible in court. But I can feel your heart energy. I can feel the energy that's coming from your heart. So I don't know if all of that shit is fake. You could be smart. Everything is fine right here with all the ten swords in the back. You could be doing all of this and hiding it, disguising it and all that other stuff. Ten of swords in revert. Yeah. See, somebody didn't want some sort of ending. Tens are the end of a cycle. Somebody didn't want this This binding this curse this hex this this way of being able to siphon some sort of money or energy or power or you know attention away from somebody this gemini energy right here they didn't want that to end they stalking somebody online too Ooh, page of swords what the fuck i just said this gemini energy is a fucking stalker psychotic ass motherfucker that's the one what did i say that's the one knight of cups right there take it however it resonates switch it if you need to but that's pisces right there love bombing the charmer like i said somebody feel like they in competition with somebody else's new start like the divine gave somebody else a new start and this person feels like they're in competition with that other person's new start and they have to stop them from moving forward before them. But this other person doesn't know that they're in competition with this person or that this person wants to stop them. <laughs> I think they do know. That's why they're cutting them off. But this person is fucking panicking. That's why they're stalking them and trying to get them to change their mind and do shit. Wheel of Fortune. Trying to get them to change their destiny. Ah, strength card right there. Trying to bully somebody. Fuck that. Leo energy again. Somebody got Leo in their sun, moon, rising. It could be a moon or it could be, look, Sagittarius right here too. It could be a moon or it could be like some sort of dark placement like Lilith, um, South Node, Pluto, Saturn, Uranus. Um, and Uranus isn't necessarily dark, but it's definitely like, you know, the karmic contracts and shit like that. Um, but what's this temperance right here? Temperance speaks about mental health. Like I said, this person is a damn stalker. It's like they stalk this person. They love this person, but they hate this person. Like they want to be violent with this person, but they 
put all over the internet that they hate this, that they love this person. It's like really fucking weird. This person is crazy. Six of Wands in reverse. They don't want somebody to win. But whatever they was trying to do was unsuccessful. What was they trying to do? Six of Cups. I don't know if somebody was trying to keep somebody in the past or trying to keep somebody in some sort of past like uh, energy that they was in in the past here. Somebody tried to offer somebody some unsolicited advice. You know how in the neighborhoods, you know, when they say no solicitation, this is like a neighborhood right there. And she looked like she trying to give her something. And a little girl is looking at her like, I didn't even ask for that shit. <laughs> Look. She looking at her like, I ain't even asked for that shit. Unsolicited advice. And it didn't work. The advice was to try to get somebody to change something that was going to uh, change their destiny, change their fortune, change their path, change with, uh, what they had coming toward them. See, this is what I was talking about before, y'all, with the Six of Cups when it was coming out here. And like a couple videos back, I said somebody from the past is going to try to come back. They're going to try to offer something. They're going to try to love bomb. Um, but that's because they know that the, the, the Empress, the true divine feminine, on the low, the Emperor is coming in. See? Virgo right here. Again, heavy on the Virgo in this reading. They know that Emperor come good. <laughs> Death and Nine of Pentacles. Yep. Scorpio, Virgo again. With the financial independence. Hey, ladies. Somebody wishes coming true or getting far, far away from um, the Sagittarius energy right here. Somebody trying to be in and out. Okay, sorry about that. Slight interruption, but it's okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> with the Nine of Cups coming out here, that's Pisces energy, and we have the Knight of Wands, that is Sagittarius energy right here again. So with the Nine of, y'all know how I feel about the double numbers, Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, you know, something coming into balance, something uh, becoming just. So somebody is definitely gonna get their wish fulfillment as far as being able to be uh, financially independent on their own. Um, their status here is gonna change. I feel like somebody has been in hermit mode um, and I'm hearing, um, I'm coming out in my head. So it's like, the dawn of a new day, so to speak, with this uh, Sagittarius energy, the, the uh, death angel riding here on the pale horse, coming to bring a fresh, brand new, pure uh, start. But yeah, somebody tried to give somebody some unsolicited advice to knock them off their horse, and um, that shit did not work. Somebody with Sagittarius energy in their chart, somebody who's in and out of somebody's life. Um, but that is also a fiery message right there because the Knights um, can definitely be seen as messengers. Yep, two of wands. There we go. Fiery conversation back and forth. <laughs> Aries energy right there again. Somebody could have that in their chart. Somebody trying to have a conversation. Um, like I said, with the Seven of Cups energy, this could be online. A conversation back and forth. You know, um, it's like somebody tried to get somebody to rush into doing something, um, knowing that it was gonna be, it was gonna lead to their demise, if you get what I'm saying. Um, but they tried to do it in a way where it seemed like they were helping them out or giving them advice or you know, something like that. It, it was like some weird, really weird energy. But I feel like with this hermit energy right here, somebody is very, very, very intelligent. The hermit is somebody, people go into hermit mode, um, you know, when it's upright, not in the reverse. Reverse is like depression, just sulking, that type of deal. But upright is going into hermit mode. And you see how she's right there at that computer? That is to learn something. Okay, they, they go into hermit mode to get very wise, um, more notably to learn about themselves because this is a self journey here with the hermit card. So um, somebody knows the importance of uh, taking your time before you reply, not just, um, you know, the fast back and forth. Um, I did see the eight of wands earlier, uh, when I was shuffling a little bit, but yeah, five of swords right here. I knew it. Somebody was trying to one up somebody and it had every, any and everything to do with communication here. All to do with communication. This could be some sort of word, witch. <laughs> 
<laughs> Queen of Cups right here. Oh my goodness. You cannot make this shit the fuck up. Let me see if this Queen of Cups is um I believe this may be the empath. Um <clears throat> But it could be the one who's trying to love bomb. Okay, the sun right here. This is somebody who is. This represent the sun represents this Queen of Cups energy. So very bright, very vibrant, uh, very happy, very high vibrational, um, very loving, very caring. Like I said, somebody tried to play off of somebody's uh, the fact that they were an empath or that they were empathetic. They tried to love bomb them and then give unsolicited advice that they knew would try to fuck them up just so they could get a leg up in some competition that this person doesn't even know that they're in. How fucking narcissistic and karmic does this shit sound, right? <laughs> the moon card here. Ooh, the moon and the sun. Something that happened in the dark will always come to the light. That's Pisces energy again here with the page of cups. That's what I'm saying. Somebody's intuition is on point, yo. Page of Cups is an intuitive message. Somebody's intuition is on point. They knew what that was. There's a difference between this cup and this cup for a reason. That one got the little fish in it. Something fishy. <laughs> that one does not, okay? Oftentimes, the Queen of Cups is seen at, look, there's a mermaid. <laughs> Oftentimes, she's seen as a mermaid or a siren. She's psychic. Somebody try to play a psychic with a page of cups energy, knowing that she's a queen of cups, high priestess. <laughs> That's fucking laughable. They're going to shed light on everything. Look, the queen of cups, the moon and the high priestess card scream psychic. Okay. Somebody really tried to come to a psychic with some page of cups energy, thinking that this was going to work and that they wasn't still going to shed light on that fake ass bullshit that they was trying to pull. <laughs> Capricorn energy again with the devil card. The lovers, Gemini, try to make you, uh, try to fuck with your free will. Like I said, somebody's trying to fuck with somebody's free will. They can't do that. They may have been able to play off that shit before, but they cannot do that shit. Queen of Pentacles again with the Capricorn, seven of, Pen I mean, seven of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Capricorn energy right there again. Somebody wanted to cause some sort of instability with somebody's finances here. But they wanted them to do it on their own. They wanted them to make a, a free will choice decision to let their guard down to a certain situation here just because they was playing nice. Like I said, you can hide all you want to, seven of wands here. You can veil yourself, cover yourself, co try to cover your energy behind uh, fake accounts and all that other shit. But <laughs> that psychic, that high priestess, queen of cups, moon energy is going to show your true colors every single fucking time. <laughs> Show who this foolish ass motherfucker is every single time. What we got, justice will be served every single time. Karma will happen. Look, eight of cups. Pisces. Somebody emotionally checked her out. Walk the fuck away from this damn fire sign feminine. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody could have that in their chart. This person is a real live fucking nut, yo. What else? See, I ain't, we ain't going to gloss over the fact that there's a whole ass court case that we was talking about earlier. <laughs> Ace of Cups. They done got themselves caught up in some shit. Nine of Cups. That makes ten cups. That was with a group of people, a family, a friend. Somebody tried to separate themselves from a group or like a coven or some shit like that on the low. With the moon card being right here. And they was doing all types of stuff. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, they tried to separate themselves from this family. And I put that in quotes because, you know, the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. Google it. Eight of Wands. Whole lot. They were sending a whole lot of energy somebody's way trying to fuck them up, yo. They was trying to get them to fuck themselves up. <laughs> four of Pentacles. So they can control, gain back control. See, the Four of Pentacles was in the reverse before. Now it's upright. Somebody done took back control over their shit, over their energy, over their life, and somebody done pulled back their energy. Like I said, 
This person did, somebody did not drink the Kool-Aid. The hermit, again, somebody's wise. Somebody did not drink the Kool-Aid. They was not taking the bait. <laughs> Knight of Wands again. No matter how this person show up, they still showing up as the Knight of Wands. They ain't showed up as nothing else but the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands. But who we see here, the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. That would be a white witch psychic. I don't know how no King of Wands, Page of Cups, <laughs> Knight of Wands thought he was going to wiggle his energy around that. Look, Page of Wands again. Look, that's what I'm saying. This person thought that they were slick with the communication. The Emperor, because they did not want that Empress to find her Emperor. Or they did not want the emperor to get in contact with the empress. That's the truth. The Ace of Swords right behind that. See what I'm saying? They didn't want this emperor to know the truth about this uh, empress. Five of Wands here again. They wanted to cause conflict, chaos, confusion about this Queen of Cups, this intuitive, this psychic. They may have even tried to say that this person was a uh, fake. <laughs> they may have even tried to pretend that they were a psychic intuitive to keep this emperor around. And they're the fake. Because remember, this person would do anything. Five of Swords. That's the Four of Wands right here. These people may have moved or lived together at some point. We did see the Six of Cups, so this could be, you know, family, somebody that you may have lived with at some point. Um, seven of Cups, trying to keep somebody in illusions and confusion. Up in their head. Up in the head. Keep their head up in the clouds. Wishing and hoping and praying. Look, the lovers. I told you. I'm trying to fuck with these people. Free will. High priestess again. Why is the high priestess out here with the lovers? Page of swords. Lurking. Watching in the background. And the devil. Trying to bind themselves again. to the Because you know the lovers is on the devil card in the traditional tarot. See, the devil is about binding so that they cannot make a free will decision. And the lovers is about making a free will decision. Somebody wanted to um, bind somebody from, basically they wanted to control their, their free will at the end of the day. I keep saying it because that's what's coming up. And it's this Aquarius masculine energy could be some sort of ringleader in this. Or um, he may have been the emperor in all of this. You know, the one that's going through the divorce of the situation. Yep, father of cups. Here he is, king of cups. Queen of Cups, we done seen out here a bunch of times. And now that I'm talking about he's getting a divorce away from this other energy or moving or has moved away from this other energy, he's going toward his Queen of Cups. The Emperor is now starting to come out here with the Empress. He's heartbroken, hurt. That he even had this Empress in a third party with this uh, fake ass whoever this is. So this could be some sort of divorce, legal divorce, um, as far as like, a, you know, breaking of a business or um, actual relationship here. We have protection from a powerful friend, a dog. Somebody could have some sort of um, spirit animal, spirit totem, spirit guide here. Because I have a feeling this person likes to mess around in people's dreams too. Pisces then came out here way too many fucking times. Pisces and Scorpio then came out here way too many fucking times for somebody not to have been fucking around in somebody's dreams. Yep, someone trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. I knew it. Somebody tried to come between two people that was meant to be together. Some sort of a partnership. All because they wanted it first. Or because they wanted it. Or because they wanted to bleed this masculine out of all of his resources before he would be able to go to this feminine. And she was going... This, this, I said she. Okay, well, she was going to drop this masculine after she bled him of all his resources so he wouldn't even have anything to offer this feminine. But little does this person know, whichever way they tried to carry this thing out, even if they had bled this masculine out of everything, the way it was written in the stars by the divine, these two was going to get together and run an empire anyway. Period. You don't know what's in people's chart. Look, we have Barrel right here. You feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. That's what I'm saying. This person doesn't want to be in lack they don't want to be in the five of pentacles so they try to put everybody else in the five of pentacles like this person is the type of person that need people to need them they try to put everybody else in the five of pentacles around them so people come running to them and when people ain't paying attention to them that's when they love bomb them or they do some bullshit to force them to come back to them 
secret admirer. Like, did they, man, I say that shit? I said this person loves this person, but they be acting like they, well, they love them, but they really fucking despise them because they're jealous. <laughs> like, they love who they are and what they do and things like that. And this person, like, loves them so much that they want to be them, but they despise them because they're not them. Like, this shit is really weird because they lack their energy, that true energy that they had the genuine energy store news of a birth or new business opportunity what the fuck i said yo <laughs> i ain't playing so um this masculine has probably already contacted this feminine in reference to a new business opportunity yep <laughs> yep the empress boss bitch okay so look great worry over nothing so yeah Somebody having sorrow over a loss. Oh, that's who it is. It's that other feminine. Sorrow over a loss, dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. So this man could, this could be the emperor or king of swords energy. Um, king of swords does represent a masculine, European masculine with um, blonde hair, blue eye, you know, that type of thing um, in a tarot deck when you're getting down to like descriptions and things like that. Um, he's supposed to represent somebody who's, you know, business minded, uh, things like that. Um, so is the empress. But, you know, when that king of swords get with that queen of swords, that becomes emperor, empress, or, you know, king of pentacles, queen of pentacles, whatever. They, they interchange into those energies. Bat, take care. Enemies are working against you. See, he found out that, that this, this other one was working against him and not with him working to keep him down they knew that there was a spiritual love between these two and it didn't even have to be anything that turned into a romantic relationship that's what this other feminine was was jealous about that it was going to turn into a romantic relationship but it was not this is all business <laughs> shark gavel look y'all ain't finna be playing gavel i ain't gonna be playing with me with these uh court references and y'all y'all not gonna say what's going on in court and i keep asking let me grab one more deck and maybe i'm gonna see let's see if they'll tell us what's going on with the court situation damn that's too many damn cards came out here and i almost knocked over my camera ten of cups a ten of hearts which is also the wheel of fortune in the uh regular playing cards what they going to court for some sort of fortune some sort of payout some sort of money like i i, I keep hearing the word enterprise i don't know what the fuck that means um in this situation enterprise or enterprises we have the seven of cups right here we have the ace uh i've said seven of cups seven of hearts the Ace of Spades and the Queen of Spades, which here she is, the Queen of Swords. With the truth, the Ace of Spades is the Ace of Swords. And the truth that's going to illuminate, um, shed light on something. I don't know if y'all can see the little all-seeing eye right there. It's going to shed light on something. It's going to cut through all of this confusion energy here with the seven of hearts. And it's going to, it's, it, yeah. Okay, that's what that court energy was. That could have been spiritual court from the cards that I seen earlier with the spiritual love here. That could have been spiritual court that somebody had done. And it's over now in spiritual court. Oh, boy, look at that, look at that, look at that. Hey. King of Swords, which also represents the, I want to say the King of Swords represents the Emperor, if I'm not mistaken. Um, in the, in this deck, or King of Spades, I meant, yep, yeah, the Emperor. He represents wisdom, experience, and authority. And the queen of spades represents strategy, intelligence, and ambition. The ace of spades in this deck represents focus and clarity. Seven of cups represents uh, secrets, imagination, uh, new feelings, 
And the Ten of Cups represents plans that are set into motion. So that is the Wheel of Fortune, plans that are set into motion. So uh, these plans have already been set into motion. They're, they, they've cut through the clarity. Everybody know what, what they're doing here. Look, everybody ready to go. Jack of Spades. That's like the Knight of Swords. I just heard a Jack of All Trades. Look, <laughs> Jack of Hearts. Pisces energy right here. Knight of Cups. Somebody's coming now. Now see, this Emperor King of Swords is coming to make a love offer. Like we saw with this Seven of Cups over here, that new love offer, what it represents. I mean, or Seven of Hearts. Uh, he's coming in with, with a, a love offer. Um, this could be a business offer here with this with uh, the Jack of Hearts coming out here with the Jack of Spades. That could be some sort of business offer, some sort of serious communication, but not so serious communication. You know what I mean? It's like um, getting down to business, but cutting through the bullshit. You know what I mean? Um, starting fresh, starting new. Look what's here at the bottom of the deck. The Two of Hearts. That's like the Two of Cups. That's a heart to heart conversation here. That also represents temperance. Um so somebody uh, pouring into another, pouring their heart out to somebody. Six of clubs, tower. What's the tower moment? Is the six of spades. Somebody's definitely uh, moving forward. They're being divinely guided. Somebody could be traveling overseas. This person, these two people could be separated by a body of water. I'm getting that this King of Swords is in like a colder country than this uh, Empress here is. Where she's at is more lush and green. It may be winter where she's at too. That's why she's showing up as the Queen of Swords, the Ice Queen. But it, it's a little bit more lush with, with greenery. But they have healed. They have both definitely healed. So that was spiritual court. Uh, somebody's in spiritual jail. They can't use their uh, in, their intuitive powers. Nothing. Look, tower. Somebody's in spiritual jail. See, this person, see, that's what I'm saying. That other person was so 3D. They was not tapping into their spiritual abilities like they were supposed to be doing with this page of, sword, page of cups right there. They was just doing random shit like that Knight of Wands energy. They thought that they was going to regular court, regular jail. I got a feeling this person was even like on the low, looking online, looking up people's names, like, um, you know, in, in cities and counties and states or whatever, where they live or uh, to try to see if they had a case in the system and things like that and trying to follow things and finding old things, but not really seeing anything that's new. And they was even thinking that this has something to do with juvenile court. That's why they couldn't see nothing because, you know, those records aren't public. But no, this was spiritual court. Yep. The chariot right there is having structure and discipline. Who the king of swords. He whipped this shit right back on into shape. The king of swords can also represent a lawyer, a male lawyer. Yes, very calculated, very intelligent. Who the magician manifested. What he manifested. He manifested healing. He manifested moving uh, away from that heartbreak, the heartache. He manifested, uh, you know, the recovery or recovering uh, this relationship. Wow. Healing from this uh, work that was put on them. Some sort of entity attachment. Working to get that off. Yep, Six of Pentacles right here. This person was just too generous. He's not giving anymore. Hierophant learned his spiritual lesson, the fool card right there, and is moving on. Brand new endeavors. The Hierophant also represents court, spiritual court. Taurus energy right there. Nine of Swords right here. Gemini energy. Now this person is all up in their head, and they having nightmares and thinking about all the shit that they did because they catching their karma. Justice. Like I said, spiritual court. They catching their karma. Queen of Wands in reverse. It has been revealed. She is actually the Dark Witch. It has been proven and shown in court. And the Emperor now gets to be with his Empress. Look. They're together now. They're together right now. 
as you're watching this video. Just wanted to let you know that. <laughs> Reconciliation, three of cups, that's what I said. As you're watching this video right now, the emperor and the empress is together. So whoever tried to stop them or stop this union or thought that they was doing something to stop this, because this with the Wheel of Fortune coming out here a couple of times, this could have been going on for a couple of years. Ace of Cups, yep, new love. Hey, and he finna be investing. Hey, see, that's what I'm saying. They got plans for a bright future here. Oh, there we go. King of Pentacles. Didn't I say he was going to be out here eventually? He took his many money and dipped the fuck out in the middle of the night. Didn't I say he had to go across a body of water? He went to go get that damn empress. He went over mountains, over body of water. He didn't give a fuck what he had to do, how much he had to pay to get to where he had to go. He was doing that shit and he got to her. He got to her. Like I said, just in the nick of time too. Look, don't look like he he driving real real fast with the eight of wands right there. This is shit that had something that had to happen. It was like he figured this shit out at the very last fucking second. Sagittarius energy right there blocked all that energy that they was trying to send to try to stop somebody or to try to uh, you know put somebody in lack stopped by the who. The Queen of Swords, because the Queen of Swords was telepathic. You know, the Queen and King of Swords, they telepathically communicate shit like that. They was working together. Three of Pentacles. They had already done, because Three of Pentacles is like a, um, a coming into contract, like the conception of a new business or coming into contract or, or you know, a new project, things like that. I told y'all before that these them two was telepathically communicating. She helped him. He helped her. All that shit. She was waiting on him. And everybody think that sh sh that uh, he was waiting on her to come and beg for money and clout and this and that. Look, Ten of Cups right there. Everybody thought that shit. Two of Swords, but it never happened. It was him that had to bring the money to her or bring whatever this was to her. Because remember, we've been talking about somebody come from the wrong side, somebody come from the right side. They told this one from the, that, that came from the money or the AKA right side, like people want to say. They told that one that this other one was just bummy and was going to take him for his money when that's all everybody else been doing draining his ass and he figured that shit the fuck out came up out of that spell the world card right here closed out that chapter is done over with the world card has aquarius scorpio taurus and leo on here also represents conception also represents protection boundaries also represents world travel i told you somebody was coming from overseas they coming to this empress face to face this three of cups right here that's reconciliation face to face. Where that shit go? Here it go. That's reconciliation face to face. Coming back together. Bringing the star seed, the star family back together. Hmm. Four of cups. Ace of swords. They can't believe it. Look, somebody's in denial from the truth. They can't believe it. They cannot fucking believe it. <laughs> page of pentacles right there somebody's like you know i don't got much to offer but <laughs> they still trying it with these messages and the five of cups somebody is in a lack because somebody about to be the star that's what they wanted to be but the star ain't about just having money and power and fame you got to be fucking healed if you want to do some sort of spiritual work i told y'all i feel like this is supposed to be some sort of spiritual business yeah six of swords here they go. <laughs> Two of Cups with what? The King of Cups. About to have that heart to heart conversation. Well, they had the heart to heart conversation. This right here and the star card right there. All of that is the telepathic communication. Because, you know, he controls his, his intuition. He's very much in control of his intuition. He know how to, how to do all of that shit. And this was about to come from it. Ace of Pentacles. Something that took a long time coming, but it was for good. That right there brings stability. That right there brings stability. So <laughs> I hope the cross watcher is watching this right now. Cause just so you know, that shit didn't work and they're together right now. Something that you tried to prevent from happening for years, years. And he's telling her how much he loves her work, how much he wants to work with her, how, how they want to make this for a long time coming, all of that shit. And all you got to do is sit and suffer in fucking silence. If nobody told y'all today, I'm going to tell you I love you. Peace.